Hey, what's up? This is Cedric the Entertainer, and you're watching Days with Zara. Zara has her days, y'all. <laughs> Don't she? So you are here at this great event tonight, and um, I'm already, I mean, I'm pretty inspired. I, mean, I wish I could be a part of the group and, you know, get a mentor. Oh, in, in, in this uh, dynamic, I mean, uh, Terry has been doing this for several years. Uh, and I've been involved with it, emceeing before, and so just to to come in and support her, the work that she does for all these beautiful young ladies and to inspire them and, you know, encourage them to be the best that they can be in this world, and especially at such a young age, I, I really, you know, I'm, yeah, I just want to support that kind of thing. I have two young daughters, so I'm down, I'm, I'm down with that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. If you didn't know already, we were hanging out with Cedric the Entertainer. And you know what, but I think it's just fabulous about you. Not only are you pretty funny, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know you're such a positive uh, role model for so many people, and and consistently. Yeah, I think that you know uh, it, it's you'll hear a lot of people who have positive images for some reason claim not to want to be a role model. I mean, for whatever reason, you know, it, it, you, when you're in the public eye, it's easy to be just kind of catapulted to that level because you know you're in the public and people assume you're supposed to be a good person, but. I mean, I, I was raised in a, a single-parent household. My mother, and she was a Christian woman, and uh, raised my sister and myself to just be good people in general. I've taken that attitude, uh, attitude through life. I think that that's really, you know, all you can offer is to just be a good, good person and have that energy come back your way. Mm -hmm. And so, and you keep it that simple, and it's not that big a deal. I yeah. mean, you know, yeah. I mean, you might catch me out there, you know, driving 100 miles an hour. <laughs> no. Saying crazy, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness! How am I supposed to get through this interview? Okay, do you see I'm red? Okay, I just got back from Mexico. Nice. Yeah. I've been to Cancun before. Did you like it? I went to the old Cancun. <laughs> back when you can't, you know what happened in Cancun? Stay in Cancun, and you have to do that with your head. What happened in Cancun? Stay, stay in Cancun. Cancun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not mad at you that. Know, my wife sitting over there like, what happened to Cancun? <laughs> You, uh uh. <laughs> now let's just talk about Cancun for a second. Got myself in trouble this evening. Oh, good Lord have mercy. Yeah. So, who are some people that have actually inspired you along your journey? Uh, I guess, you know, my mother for one. I mean, like I said, she was a uh, single parent raising both my sister and myself, but she went back to college, got her master's degree. She um, became a reading specialist and, and taught in the uh, school district in which uh, my sister and I went to high school and elementary school. Um, she would be the one. I had a um, uncle who was a news reporter in Chicago, Bob Petty, and he was always inspirational, very cool, extremely articulate, smooth, well-dressed, you know, one of those kind of cats, but he was one of those guys to inspire me. Um, you know, and it's been several, you know, several others, you know, of course the comedians uh, from Eddie Murphy to Richard Pryor, all those people that inspired me to do my comedy craft, the late Robin Harris, but, uh, um, you know, I can mention several people that I feel inspired by, you know, my good friend Steve Harvey, one of the people who, who, who definitely inspired me to, you know, to stay on my grind and do this business. And uh, so, you know, there's a lot of people that can touch you in different ways. What was it that kept you going through this journey in your life as Cedric the Entertainer? I believe that if you have a, uh, are blessed to see the next day, you might as well live it to the fullest because, you know, that's the day that's existing. Um, and, and so and try to think about that all the way down the line. So, you know, never really uh, beat yourself up too much on your mistakes that you made because if you are so blessed to see another day, you've got a chance to fix it. So go and get down, you know. So that's, that's really the kind of attitude I take toward life, and I just have a good time doing it. That's amazing. Thank you very much for that. All right. I appreciate it, and I appreciate you.